So, uh, Jay Robinson, you came out today and you supported two uh, California programs that are struggling for survival. You know, talk about how important that is. Well, I think it's really important, and I think it's not just us, but I think other schools are doing it, is that the key is to get out here and uh, get the fans to come out and then try and help these schools. I mean, California's got great wrestling in it. we got to keep these colleges going. Yeah, I know uh, you yourself have benefited from California's high school program with Manuel Rivera, Josh Holliday, a bunch of others as well. Yeah, I mean, we've recruited out of here, but but I grew up in California. I'm a San, I'm a San Diego product, so I mean, I want California schools to do great. And so, you know, you, we have to do what we can to get them. Um, we have to, we have to do as coaches. We got to get out here, and we got to spur the interest to get the high school kids and the fans to come out so they can watch. Now, when there were Title IX panels going on a few years ago, you chose to give your speech um, in California. Um, talk about that decision. Well, I mean, I, I, it, it goes back to I have I have roots here in California. I want to see California do good. I mean, Title IX is that I'm, I'm not against Title IX. I'm against the way it's implemented. Mm -hmm. But um, but coming back to California is that. What we need to do is we need to get together. We need we need to get all the parties together and get a unified plan so we can get wrestling back in the colleges. When I was here, every college had it. They all they all had it. All the junior colleges had it. We have to go back there and we have to find a way to get back there. But in order to do that, we got to get everybody involved. Now, uh, with the recession going on, when you're seeing athletic cuts being made, you're hearing that the decisions are more about money than about gender equity. But what you see a lot is a school that is in a financial crunch will try and cut men's and women's teams, and the women will sue under Title IX and get reinstated, and the men are not. Well, and, and I mean, that's part of it. But the other thing is, is the coaches got to get out, and they got to promote, and they got to do things. And I think Dan Hicks is doing an unbelievable job here. Mike Mendoza and in uh, Bakersfield, they're doing a great job. Is that they're going out, but you got to keep the pressure on on the administration because they have a tendency to change the rules a lot of times. Mm -hmm. Is that they go out and they make enough money for a couple years, and then they change the rules on them. And so you have to you have to you have to keep going back and keep going back, and you have to be excited about it every year, year after year after year. But it's got to go beyond that. Is that we have to get some help in the legislature. We have to get some things to where. School administrators just can't cut it. There's 28,000 kids that wrestle in the state of California. Mm -hmm. Okay, over 200, over 200 or 750 schools, something like that. They need a place. They need they need 10 or 15 colleges that they can go to in this state and stay home and wrestle and, and grow their dreams. So anything that we can do, Minnesota can do to help Bakersfield or Cal Poly or uh, Fullerton, we're going to do. Well, you've done a lot today. Thank you so much. It's great being here.